know, I just – my emotions are I, I wouldn't – I'm so proud to be quarterback of this football team, captain of this football team, and just a brother brother and a part of this, this Arizona State football team. I mean, been here a long time, and I, I've been through seasons, ups and downs, and, you know, I couldn't tell you this, – this is my favorite team I've ever been a part of. Just the fact of how much adversity we faced – and we're, you know, we stay together, arm in arm. You don't got to worry about anybody on this football team operating outside of the system and just couldn't be, couldn't be more proud of this football team at this point in time. You know, it's frustrating, but like I just said, we're a team. Coach came in there, said what he needed to say, but at the end of the day, we know, we, you know, we, we know we know the result. At the end of the day, they, you got to cr- give credit to that football team. They did an outstanding job on both sides of the ball. But at the end of the day, we, ha- we have a team. We have a family. It doesn't matter. I can look Lloyd in the face after the game and know that he put everything, his heart, his every single part of his body on the line. And then 30 years from now, I can call him up and say, you know, we didn't get it done, but I love you, man. You, you did everything you can for this football team. Why is it a different you know, red zone, I mean, this is – this isn't one of the best conferences in football. It's, it's not easy to get in the end zone, but at the end of the day, you know, it's on me as a quarterback to make sure we get six points. But you know, th- you know, we just got to focus on not turning the football over. And obviously, Zane and the special teams unit did an incredible job. But you know what? We didn't get it done tonight. Credit to them. But I still love this football team and proud to be a teammate here. Well, you know, mainly just a few uh, miscommunications, um, guys, you know, not being as focused. But like, you know, uh, Berko said, man, really just us being able to come together as a team when we go through adversity, being able to stick together, those are the things that really matter throughout the game. And um, you know, I feel like we did that tonight, although we came up short. But, uh, you know, it's just something, to, you know, to build on and, uh, you know, continue to improve on as a team. Um, for the most part, we, we were on the same page, but uh, it was still, you know, a few things that we could have done better, uh, you know, on each side of the ball. But, I mean, really, man, it's just, it comes down to us, you know, uh, defensively as far as uh, just executing our own assignments. And, uh, you know, for the most part, we did that, but there was times that, that we um, we didn't do do as well, and, you know, they, it costed us. But um, you can give credit to them, man. They're a, a very uh, talented team, great quarterback, great receivers, man. And, um, you know, we just didn't get the job done tonight. Uh, well, you know, he's a talented guy. Much credit to him. Um, you know, great uh, game manager. But, uh, you know, it was we had a great game plan going in. Um, it was just up to us, you know, as players to go out and execute. Hey, Mike, just, just, just the emotion. I mean, you had probably the two best games of your career. Talk about just the, the win against Arizona and just the great win this past week. And just that, that number that obviously just kind of stood on the line for you. You know, the numbers don't mean anything when you take an L. It's a point total, it's a personal point. I'm just – Happy that I was able, if there was anyone, I'd, ra- I'd rather take an L with this team than anybody. Uh, you know, we have a great team. We have great coaches. We just weren't able to get it done. And credit to that other team for handling their business tonight. You know, coach, you know, former players and coaches talk about it all the time. The things you remember most not are not always uh, – you know, inside the white line, some you know, it's it's the pregame practices, waking people up when they're tired in the morning, you know, messing around in the lunchroom afterwards, and just just it's amazing what we've built here in the last four years under Coach Graham, the type of unity that we have in this football team, and it it's in the classroom. I mean, the type of leadership that we have is is second to none, and it's just amazing to see the growth of that. But uh, you know, that that's that's really what it is. Is just it it truly is a football family, and I couldn't and you know those memories will last a lifetime. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's one more opportunity. Like, you know, Coach talks about the seniors a lot. I mean, being in college football, you understand what it means to be a senior once you finally are one. And this is one last opportunity for the seniors, for the senior group to take the field, for this program to build, to try and get our seventh win and have a winning season. And, you know, w- you know, games aren't easy. You can't expect anything to be handed to you. But wherever we are, we're going to be blessed to get the opportunity to go, you know, play, play a bowl game and, uh, you know, go out and show what Sun Devils, you know, show what Sun Devils do. Another, me and Mike are, are always
always had that connection. Like I've always said, we've been working on this since summer. And I don't know, Michael feel the same way. As, as well as we connected, we still took an L. So we'd rather win than us have a great connection. Any time of the day. You know, that's that's part of college football. It's part of the sport. You know, you don't want to call it luck one year or the other. It's just, you know, it's just wrong place, wrong time sometimes. I mean, and if it's one play, if it's a special teams play, if it's a play early in the first quarter in the red zone, I mean, you know, you can't really call it, you know, being unlucky because at the end of the day, we're the ones out there on the field. We're the ones making the plays or not making the plays. But you know what? Those are Those are plays that, you know, you remember the you remember the games where you win them and uh, and you, you you hate to remember them when you lose them, but if like like Devin said, if you're gonna you know if you're gonna ever lose with a football team, this is the one team to do it because there's no one there's no one that tries to be an outcast because we go m ar arm in arm after the game, we pray with each other, we love each other, we're hugging each other after the game, and this really is a team. <laughs>